Well, hello, movie geeks. This is Dean Treadway right here at the Atlanta Film Festival. Here with an old friend of mine, the director of the closing night film at this festival called The Spectacular Now. His name is James Ponsolt. It's really great to see you great again. See you too. The last time we saw each other, I think, was back in Dahlonega. When you had a movie called Coming, Coming down, down the Mountain. Coming Down the Mountain. Which was a great 20 minute short that I just saw and I said, this guy is going to go places. <laughs> and absolutely, you have gone places. I, I, Of course, I've seen your past movies. I just watched Smash not too long ago, and that's, that's brilliant. And this movie also has. Mary Elizabeth Winstead in it, but I understand she's in a, a smaller role here. Uh, first thing I want to ask you is, what attracted you to the original novel? What does... Yeah, I mean, this was an interesting one. This was the first film that I made where I didn't write the actual screenplay. So, right, so it was... Exactly, so that's the big difference. Yeah, so Scott Neusetter and Mike Weber, who wrote 500 Days of Summer, uh -huh. they adapted the novel. Uh, but Tim Tharp's novel for this, you know, was nominated for a National Book Award a few years ago. Right. But it is an incredibly emotional, incredibly honest story about adolescence. You right. know, it doesn't, it dignifies the complexity of that time in life. It doesn't simplify it, doesn't flatten it out. Right. You know, it's a story about adolescent, that adolescence that is not adolescent in its value system. Uh, yeah. You know, it's a really mature story. I mean, it has a sense of humor, but it's a mature story about coming of age. Right. And that's, those are those stories are few and far between, I think. They are. I mean, you know, last year, of course, we had Perks, uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and I thought that that movie kind of awakened something in some people. They said, man, we're not seeing a lot of these yep. movies. Uh, uh, why, why do you think that is? Do you think? Do you, th do you think that? I mean, do you think that, uh, there, there has to be a bigger market that's popping up for them now? I think. You I know. I mean, I th I I think so. I mean, it's the chicken and the egg thing. You know. I mean, yeah. I think. I think people do have an appetite for those kinds of films, uh -huh. and studios, once they realize that they can make money off them, yeah. they, they will make them. Um, and, and make them cheaply, too, I mean, yeah. you know, so, I mean, that's, that's great, too. Yeah. Now, tell me about your cast, like, your relationship with your cast. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, well, you know, semi-newcomers in it, mm -hmm. but, you know, then we have Jennifer Jason Lee yeah. and, and, uh, and then, of course, Charlene Woodley, who's an amazing actress. Yeah. How, how did you, how did you land those guys, and, and how, what was your relationship like? Um, you know, I, we tried to populate the film with our favorite actors, mm -hmm. whether it was people like Jennifer Jason Lee, who've been in some of the most iconic teen movies ever, like Fast Time Virgin High, right. or people like Miles Teller, our lead actor who, you know, I had seen in Rabbit Hole and then again in Footloose, and I was like, this is the second coming of Tom Hanks. Like, right. You know, it's it's really cast with people who can who can bring humor, um, you know, who can who can do drama, who really just feel as spontaneous and real as as the people in your life. You know? Right. Um, and I mean, across the board, it's just a lot of my my favorite actors. You mentioned Shailena Miles. You mentioned Jennifer. There's Kyle Chandler. There's Brie Larson. You know, Andre Royo, Bob Odenkirk. People, yeah. People that have just been in some of my favorite films and TV shows who I kind of worship. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it was really easy to sort of have a collaboration with them. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, I know that you're you're about to rush in to go see the movie. I'm excited to see the yep. movie too. I just want to tell you how proud I am oh, of you. Thank you. Thank you so I much. I feel like I had just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit to do with your success, just a tiny bit. Uh, so I, I just, I, I just adore your work, and I'm so happy Thank you, you are where you're at. Thank you. Okay, for Movie Geeks United, this is Dean Treadway at the Atlanta Film Festival with James Ponsel. <laughs> See you later, James. All right. Thank you. Become a member of the Movie Geeks United family. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com/moviegeeksunite. Facebook at facebook.com slash moviegeeksunited youtube at youtube.com slash moviegeeksunited or bookmark our website at moviegeeksunited.net and you can also access our entire library of programs including more than 600 filmmaker interviews right here on Blog Talk Radio at blogtalkradio.com slash moviegeeksunited